Hey everybody, and welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In this episode, we're going to look at modularization. That is how we can wrap small sections of the code, give it a name, wrap them in a module or a method or a function, and then they, they can be reused by a range of different programs in a range of different circumstances. So if we look at the prime number calculator, we can see that there's two parts to the program, really. One part which determines if the number is prime or not, and the other prints out the message that it is prime or it isn't prime. So we could wrap this part of the program in a method or a module. We give it a handle, and then the rest of the program, which we'll call the main part of the program, can, can call it or invoke it. So if we call using the def command, this we'll call it is it prime. And then we put an open bracket, close bracket, and call on afterwards. Then we just indent everything else that we want to be included within this library or module or method, whatever name we want to call it. Module, I'm happy with that at the moment. And then we put our end is it prime at the end here. So what will happen if this is the rest of the program then? So I might even say main program here. So these are almost like two separate programs within the same file. This program is at prime, just a calculation whether something is prime or not. So if I type in is it prime here, it'll run the program above. Now it won't tell us whether, so it'll work out whether the thing is prime or not, but it doesn't actually tell us whether it is or not. So we put in a special command called return, which means Tell me what output you want to give if somebody calls this program. So the program is calculating the number is prime or not. If it is prime, the boolean variable is prime, prime will be true. If it's not, the boolean variable is prime will be false. So if we just return the value of is prime to the main program, then we'll know whether the number is prime or not. So if we say if is prime, is it prime is equal to true? Which is just this if statement here. Then we print out it is prime, otherwise we print out it's not prime. So do you think this is going to work? It should work except for one thing. If this is a separate program to this, then when the program tries to print out A, this main program doesn't know what A is because the only thing it knows from the is it prime program is the value of is prime. So even though I'm reading in A in the so I'm reading in A in the is it prime part of the code, so the the rest of the code doesn't have access to that value A. It's called scope. And we'll show this is true by saving and running this. So if we save it and run it when we tap in the number 7, it'll crash because it doesn't know what number I just typed in in the main program. But if we don't try and print out A and we just say the number is prime or not prime, and we save that and run it. We type in 7. 7 is a prime number and let's run it for 9. 9. Not a prime number. So this is the only part of the program that's really running. When it gets to the, this is it prime call, it jumps to here and then runs this program. For the number 7, it returns is prime to be true. And for the number 9, it returns is tr prime to be false. So that's for prime numbers. Right, so let's replace the code here with the code for the Fibonacci program. And let's see how we modularize the Fibonacci program. 
Well, again, we'll create a method def or a, a module. Let's say check fib. And again, let's open bracket, close bracket, and colon. And we need to indent everything that we want to be within the scope of the program. Let's say end and check fib and our main program. Well, in this one, let's just uh, get the main program to do check fib first. That's all it'll do. It'll just call the method that we have in the code. So the main program just calls check fib, and then check fib does the rest. And if we save this and run it, and we try the 25th Fibonacci number, it's 121393. One, so that's Modularization is where we wrap parts of the program in a package or a name so that we can reuse that in a number of different situ situations. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode.